Hi, Kim Watson here today with a new process video. Today it's for Hip Kit Club using the gorgeous August kits. I'm going to be working on a page called Yay 19. My theme today is um, paper piecing. So to start this page, I grabbed one of the exclusive subscriber cut files, which you'll find on our website. I tweaked it a little in that I made sure that when I cut the flowers out, they actually remained as part of the background. They didn't come loose like the original file um, was planned. So then what I was able to do is use this gorgeous piece of paper from uh, Crate Paper called Summertime. These little flags um, or kites or whatever they are, kites, <laughs> flags, were perfect because they've got a great mixture of patterns, some pretty colors. and overall when i do the, the the paper piecing it will give me some great variety as opposed to just the same colors under the same flowers it could look a little bit maybe a little bit boring or anyhow so what i've done is made myself an approximate te template of the flower size i'm using that to tra trace uh, trace some circles onto the the kite paper which i then subsequently cut out now what i'm doing is just with a piece of tape I am loosely adhering them behind the pop-up flowers so that they I can, I can maximize the pattern, maximize the color. Uh, it's really simple. I'm using the tape to start with because I wasn't 100% sure where I would place them. So this of course is a great temporary fix until I can adhere them properly. Once everything is positioned properly and the colors are nicely balanced around the background page. almost done here's the back side of the page it just gives you an idea of, of of what it looks like and what you should expect when you do it yourself here what I'm doing is just getting the last bit of color balancing right in terms of the last two flowers that need filling see I'm again just using pieces of the tape incidentally what I do do is once I have all the flowers positions I will then take an extra piece of plain cardstock apply liquid adhesive all on to, to the entire surface and then secure the entire back with that piece of cardstock. So what I'm doing is just using my fingernail just to lift the edges of the petals. You want them to be standing up really nice and high away from the background. What it does, it gives your page a fabulous three-dimensional vibe. There's something so cool and refreshing about that like really tactile 3D finish. It also made putting the elements together really simple because uh, with some foam adhesive, I was just gently able to pop them on top of those raised petals and it, it just adds, again, great extra dimension. So I chose a slightly diagonal design inspired by the Yay ephemera from the Crate Paper uh, ephemera pack which came in those August kits. It's nice and graphic and it's really current and perfect for a teen page. I used one of the exclusive die cuts from Kimberly Hutchinson for my 19 title. Incidentally, those beautiful gold and, and magenta puppy stickers are also exclusive for the August kits. So, oh, here what I'm doing is grabbing another exclusive. Yep, this kit was full of gorgeous exclusive. They're wooden buttons designed again by our fantastic Kimberly Hutchinson. Um, and I chose the small ones, popping them into the center of some of the flowers, just dotting them around the page so that there's some nice color balance and some twinkle going on. These pieces are from the Crate Paper Carousel Chipboard Sheet. They're really nice and thick. They're really chunky, really good quality. And of course, I chose mostly yellow accents to uh, coordinate really nicely with that yellow border. This too is also part of the, the, the this embellishment here is also part of the carousel collection. It is their puppy sticker sheet, which is whimsical and fun and perfect uh, for this page. You'll notice at the top I have two uh, cardstock sticker banners. You'll notice later in the video that I actually removed them. I just thought that they really didn't work. They distracted from the background and I placed the yellow one elsewhere. You'll notice in a minute. Here what I'm doing is I grabbed some of the glitter pieces, again from the chipboard sheet, and I'm just placing them underneath the, the puffy stickers. Um, I tried to do use that best day sticker, but it just really, it actually wasn't necessary. There was quite a lot going on with this page. It didn't need too much. 
it had its pops of black, it's got its pops of yellow, it said what I needed to say. Here I am placing that cardstock sticker. I made a double banner at the bottom under the title. It just really grounds that banner really well. I tried a second flag, but again, it just wasn't necessary. There was so much going on with this page. I just thought that it would be an absolute waste. I could use it elsewhere on another project. Now, part of this kit, we were given that fantastic multi-piece little uh, sticky note uh, pack which are pennant shapes in all different colors. There are 30 pieces each in the pack, which means that they're really generous. They're really, they're really bright colors. They, they, it's great because you don't have to skimp or worry about, oh, am I gonna run out for another project? So what I did is, is I just piled them underneath that YES uh, label because first of all, I had so many. Second of all, it just really adds such a festive vibe to this page. After all, it was celebratory. Just love this. Uh, die cut was perfect again one of our exclusives for the August kit and that is that this page is done I mean I just need to stamp a date which I will do at a later stage but there my page it is done it's colorful it's bright it's got those pops of magenta and yellow and black I'm so so happy with the result thanks for joining me today I've really enjoyed sharing this video with you I hope you've been inspired Remember to pop over to hipkitclub.net and grab one while you still can. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, bye-bye.